Okay, good morning. This is a new tutorial. Machine learning is using record. What is a machine learning? The agenda here is a, what is a machine learning? And then what is a VECA? And then what is an explorer? And then how can you load the data from the explorer? And then what are the different file, file format accessed by the um, VECA? And then what is a pre-processing? That means you are going to perform in some of the exercise on the pre-processing, classification, clustering, and then association. Here, what is a exactly machine learning? Machine learning is a making the computer learn from the uh, studying data. That means from the previous data, the computer will learn something. From the historical data, the computer will learn something. That is called here machine learning. Here, it is an algorithm. It is used to explore the data. That means the machine learning system use the statistical tool. That means some of the statistical tools to learn something from the historical data. That is called here machine learning. And then machine learning is a program that analyze the data and learn to predict the uh, outcome. That means the machine always in this diagram, the machine learning something from the environment environment or historical data or previous data and then it will predicting the some results that is called here machine learning according to Tom Mitchell here the computer program machine learning is a, a computer program is said to be learned from the experience e with respect to some class of task t and performance measure p that means he is taking the experience E, task T, and then um, performance P. If its performance at task in T as a measured by P improves with the experience E, that is a the intention of machine learning. Here, the machine learning similar to grow, growth of the child. That means how can you oh, child here? The child learn something from the experience and then he will learn from analyzing the environment and then like a machine also learn in the same way that's called here machine learning according to samuel the machine learning enables the enables a machine to automatically learn from the data that means it will enable a mission automatically learn from the data improve the performance from the experience and predict the predict the things without being explicitly programmed that means the mission will learn from the experience here from the training data from the historical data the automatically learn the mission and improve the performance from the ex experiences from the experiences it will improve finally to predict the result that is called here machine learning according to Xiaomi. And then the machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. Here we have a artificial intelligence is there, machine learning is there, and then deep learning is there. Here artificial intelligence in the sense, here it's like, a, like a, is trying to think a mission. For example, if you take the entire robot, in the entire robot here, the uh, trying to think, that's called here artificial intelligence. And then coming to the machine learning, the machine learning used to, it is a one of the subset of the artificial intelligence. What is the thing here? It will learn from the environment. That means here it is used to explore the data. That means this machine learning system uses a statistical information to explore the data. And then coming to the deep learning. Here, what is the exactly deep learning here? The deep learning, it is mimic the human brain. That means it will follow the human brain. Here you have a different algorithms. For example, they have a, some certain information is there, ANN, RNN, CNN, like that different information for the deep learning. Here it is a subset of the machine learning. Here, entire mission robot, artificial intelligence, all are the artificial intelligence uh, applications. Mission learning, the mission learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. And then deep learning is a subset of mission learning. 
that is a thing here that means the development al algorithms you are using and then machine learning uses a various algorithm for building the models and then making the prediction using the historical data you have a different algorithm in the diagram shows that different algorithms are there here some of them are logistic regression some of them are decision tree support vector mission naive bayes classification and then a prior algorithm random forest k nearest neighbor algorithm these are all category that means the machine learning algorithms category into three types that means base that means i, I am going to tell you something about the supervised machine learning as well as the unsupervised machine learning and then another one here is a reinforced machine learning here the supervised machine learning in the sense here based on the categorical that means that means you are taking the categorical data that means the mission learn from the training data set and then here have the free defined labels are there here unsupervised learning not have the free defined label you will discuss later one by one here comes the first one supervised machine learning what is a supervised machine learning here the main goal of supervised machine learning is a, to map the input data with the output data and predicting the class labels here that is a main intention of supervisor here that means you are defining the input values and then you are defining the output value based on the input values and the output value you are that means you are predicting the class label class label in the sense you are free defined class labels are there that's a output value here the supervised machine learning provides a sample label data to the mission learning system in order to train it and then on that basis and to predict the what is the main intention here here it's a depends upon a sample label data if you want to apply the any machine learning uh, algorithm it should have in the sample label data it's have in the input value that means and then predicted value you required and then here train the data that means you are going to training the machine and then after that predicting the result that is a, that means for training you are using the some of the data set some part of the data set for the training some part of the data set for the testing here the 70% of the data set for the training a 30% the basic thing here is a 70% for the training data set 30% for the testing data set here for example here in this uh, diagram here there is a, a data set is there that is a training data that means i am giving the training data to the algorithm here this algorithm predicting the model or classifier here that means you are going to predicting the some rules based on the training data set here that means if you apply the new data test data if you apply the same data test data to the model that produces the output that means unpredictable value you are going to produce in the unpredictable value that is called here machine learning here supervised machine learning here in this case already you discussed model using the label data that means it's a learn about the each data and then if training and processing are completed that means you test the model by providing the sample data here in this case first you are giving the training to the algorithm and then that predicts the model here if you complete the training process then new data will come that means test model that's called here new data called the testing data here you will apply the testing data to the model that means that is a predicting the exact output here that means there such may be exact output or not exact output it sometimes may exact output some sides may not get the exact output that's called here supervised learning and for example spam filter here that's called here example um, logistic, logistic clustering the clustering the one of the uh, classification techniques is spam filtering that's called here supervised learning and then supervised learning can be grouped further into classification and prediction here these are all different algorithms that means you are going to trying to do these algorithms linear regression polynomial regression exponential regression and then logistic regression the this particular logistic regression 
comes under the classification technique. That means all are apply applicable on the numerical data, even though it comes under the classification. And then logarithmic regression. These are all different regressions. That means predictions. These are all predictions. And then classification algorithms, decision tree classification algorithm, random forest classification algorithm, new base classification algorithm, support vector mission, and then root based classification and k nearest neighbor classification. Kenyan. Your decision tree is a flowchart like a structure. In particular, decision tree, whether the particular person buying the computer or not. Here you are applying the decision tree all on the categorical attributes. That is a coming to the random forest. The random forest algorithm here in the random forest algorithm training data set divided into n number of training data, n number of sets. Here based on the sets here for each and every set you are going to develop in the decision tree. And then from among, from among the decision tree here uh, combining these decision tree that means you selecting the best one best result get the best result that is called here by using some uh, combining the uh, result uh, uh, water by using different water techniques voting, voting techniques here you will be predicting the result similarly base classification new base classification based, based on the base theorem support vector mission that means the vector you are going to try the vector the rule based class you are predicting the different rules that's done here supervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning here here what is the unsupervised machine learning the second important one here is a, the, the goal here is a determine the data groups here the main intention for the unsupervised machine learning here is a without class label you are um, predicting the different groups. Mission learn without any supervision. For example, with the help of instructor, the student learn something. That's called here supervised mission learning. Without instructor, the student learn something. By, that means the person itself read the something. That's called here unsupervised mission learning. Here, no class table data. The, the without class label data you will classify you will categorize categorize the data that means the goal of unsupervised machine learning is a grouping of object with a similar pattern that means based on the similarity you are grouping the data here the further divided into clustering and then association here these are all clustering methods here partitioning clustering method hierarchical clustering methods, density-based clustering method, grid-based clustering method. The partitioning clustering method here is a k-means, k-medoid, and then hierarchical clustering methods. So, uh, uh, some of the hierarchical clustering methods are there. Some of bottom-up approach, top-down approach. Here, and then density-based clustering method, DB scan, grid-based clustering methods, like that string, like that different clustering methods coming to the association, uh, algorithm scalable scalable association algorithms are there here a prairie algorithm a fee growth algorithm vertical data format these are all unsupervised coming to the reinforcement sometimes uh, data consists of labeled data sometimes so that means in particular data set some of the objects have the label data some of the objects not have the label data in particular cases you are applying the reinforcement learning the reinforcement learning is a feedback based learning method in which a learning agent gets a reward for the each right action and gets a plenty for the wrong action that's called here reinforcement learning that means the goal of reinforcement learning here is a, to get a most reward points. Hence, it improves the performance. Here, that is a simple information about the reinforcement. That is a the machine learning technique, the working of machine learning technique. Here, the machine learning system learn from the historical data. That's called here training data. First, you are taking the data set. That from the data set is the mission that means you are giving the training data set uh, mission learn something and build a prediction model here from the data set training data set you will predict in the model whenever it receives a new data it predict the output here that is a machine learning for example if you take the working of the machine learning system 
here what is the machine learning system first machine learning system learn from the historical data here it is called here training data or historical data name rank yes tenured yes or tenured yes or not that means based on the for example he is an assistant professor he is having more than seven years of experience nine years of experience then only he is a tenured for example he is a professor professor more than two years he is a tenured here associate professor he is having the more than two years here more than uh, five years then he is a tenured and then as uh, some assistant professor more than six years not tenured here you are giving the training data here based on the training data algorithm predict a model here based on the training data algorithm predict a model whenever new data comes whenever new data comes it predict the or result unpredictable value results that is a machine learning algorithm that means you will identify the accuracy of the predicted output depends upon a amount of data that means you will identify the accuracy based on the r square rmsc root mean square like that you will identify this one for references see this one 